The brand new ASUS ROG Ally is a fantastic device to play the very latest AAA titles on the gorgeous 1080p screen at high frame rates. But equally of course it's just as capable in emulating our favourite games from over the past few decades too. And right here is an emulation guide for the 12 easy steps that you need to take in order to relive your gaming childhood memories. So let's dive right in with step one and that is to go to the Retrobat GitHub page with the link being in the description below and download the latest version which at the time of recording is version 5.3.0. Next for step two, we need to open up the installer and select where you want your emulator and files installed at, which in my case is simply the C drive. For step three, we'll need to download our ROMs of the games that we'd like to emulate. Unfortunately, I can't tell you the exact sites, but let me just say that Google is a beautiful thing and I wonder what would happen if you typed in the word ROM and then the name of the game you'd like to emulate. Hmm, interesting. Step four is to download the latest BIOS files and this is optional and only required if you want to play the more recent consoles. Again, our good friend Google will help you here if you type in the word BIOS and then the name of the more recent console you'd like to emulate. Step five, we'll open up the location of our ROMs that we've just downloaded onto the left open the Retrobat folder in the drive we've installed it on the right, making sure you go into the folder titled ROMs, and then simply drag the ROMs into their correct corresponding folders. In this case for me, I'm dragging my newly downloaded Super Nintendo games into the SNES folder in Retrobat. If you have downloaded BIOS files for the more recent consoles, then you can now move them into the BIOS folder within Retrobat. In step six, go to the web link in the description. Click on the big green download button at the very top. Extract the downloaded file, click on the first file labeled install.all, and you will then get a blue Defender smart screen message. Click more info, and then select run anyway. Don't freak out here, as Retrobat needs dependencies such as Visual C++ and DirectX to launch correctly. And so these files will correct this very issue. Simply click on the Retrobat executable file to load up the program for step seven. For step 8, click on the Armory Crate button and make sure that the gamepad control mode is selected. Then simply click on any game you want to play and away you go. A message may pop up if an emulator is missing, so just click OK to download if this message does happen. Step 9 is optional and this is controller mapping. Swipe up to get out of the game and back into Emulation Station, which is the front end for Retrobat. Press the Start button, go to Controller Settings, then Controller Mapping, and assign buttons to wherever you'd like. And this is particularly a good thing to do if you feel the Ally buttons aren't as responsive as you'd like them to be, or simply just to remap buttons to your liking. Step 10 is customizing game art. Inside Retrobat, press the start button to bring the menu up, go to Scraper, click the Scraper settings you'd like and enter your screen scraper username and password at the bottom. The link to sign up is in the description and definitely worth doing to make our interface as sleek as possible. Scraping your game up may take a few minutes if you've got a lot of games and when it's finished, press the start button, then game settings, then update game lists and there you go. Step 11 is to automatically load and save games. Press start button to go to the main menu, go to game settings, then all the way down to auto save and load and click this to on. This is a very useful feature as it will now save all of our games on exit and load straight back into the last save point when we load the game back up. 
And for step 12 is adding Retrobat to our game library. So press the Armory Create button, make sure the Game Library tab is selected, click the Add button at the top right, press LB button to open File Explorer and select the Retrobat.exe file inside the Retrobat installation folder. If this tutorial has helped you to use emulation with your ally, then be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons right now to show your appreciation and also to make sure that you do not miss out on any of the incredible content that we have lined up. This includes many more ally tutorials, guides, performance tests, comparison videos to Steam Deck and Switch OLED and so, so much more. And let us know in the comments your thoughts on emulation on the Ally. What emulated games will you play first? Which emulated console has really surprised you and working even better than you expected? And as an extra bonus for watching right to the end, I'd love to share a quote I came across recently that's great advice to help you be happy in life. Happiness is not about getting everything you want, it's about enjoying all that you have. It can be so hard to be content in life a lot of the time, so let's really appreciate and enjoy what we have, guys. And if you like to know seven essential steps to optimize your ally, then check this video out right here. As always, I appreciate every single one of you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.